Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing Jing number 112, so we're going to get straight into it. The first thing that I have is actually a pack of vintage tarot cards. These ones were from 1971, and these are the Rider Weight deck is what they are called. Um, I typically, like when I find tarot cards, they tend to sell. It doesn't even necessarily matter if they're just the, you know, regular run-of-the-mill tarot cards or if they are more like specifically themed. Um, definitely people are interested in them. These here I do believe came from an auction I want to say but I sometimes find them at yard sales and thrift stores and stuff like that and these ones sold for $75.99. I also sold a romper outfit. This was by a company called Romeo and Juliet Couture that sold for $22.99. Um, this took a very long time to sell. I actually got this in a mystery box. Um, it was a reseller mystery box that I purchased on eBay. Um, I don't know if I'd ever do something like that again. I thought it would just be something for fun. Wasn't really expecting to make like much profit off of it and that's pretty much what happened um, I mean I sold some of this stuff but not for like a whole lot uh, but that was in there and like I said it took a long time to sell um, next item was a pair of Carlos Santana heels these sold for $19.99 again another item that took a very long time <laughs> to sell I do believe I may have picked these up at a thrift store or a fill it by Grummage sale. I also sold a vintage Halloween um, pumpkin head like electric candle. So these would have um, plugged in. This was for a pair of them. So a set of two. Those sold for $25.99. And those came out of a box of some vintage Halloween items that Eric had won um at an auction next item was for a 1997 so vintage avon hairbrush if you've been watching all of my chichings you know um vintage avon hairbrushes can sell really well um that sold for 22 dollars and 99 cents and that did come from an auction i won like a box full of them for like pretty much a dollar a piece um, let's see, I also sold a Disney moving picture flip book. So this was like a vintage kind of Disney item as well. This sold for $19.99 and that came off of, of a tray of um, some Disney related stuff that I had won at an auction. I also sold a Body Shop Vanilla Perfume that sold for $25.99 and I did pick that up at a yard sale. Um, again, this cha-ching is still a little back there a ways, a couple, like a month or so ago. So, um, you know, use perfumes as stated and I will constantly <laughs> state we cannot sell on eBay anymore, uh, but this is an older, um, cha-ching basically. Uh, let's see, I also sold an Art Deco style brooch for $17.99 and that came from a yard sale I had purchased. A couple like really nice pieces of jewelry and I think I paid maybe $2 for that. I also sold a vintage pair, this was obviously from the 90s, Lee Denim um, carpenter style bib overalls. Those sold for $49.99 and I did pick those up at a yard sale. Um, vintage bib overalls or overalls in general really um, people are still really interested in them. I mean I still see like adults like walking around wearing bib overalls and quite frankly I wish I could get away with with wearing them. I just think I look rid ridiculous in something like that me personally anyway but I feel like I can't pull off a lot of looks. Um, next I have a vintage from 1984 Hot Wheels playset. This was called the Stow and Go playset. This came from a yard sale. Eric picked it up. Um, it did have I think two cars in it and we were more interested in the cars which they had sold already. Um, but the place that actually did sell as well for $39.99 and I think we paid like a dollar for the entire thing so it wasn't much. 
I sold one of the Arthur Shoemaker wooden carved pieces. This came from one of the very first folk art auctions that Erica and I went to. This one was of an owl and it sold for $250. Uh, the next item went to a subscriber named Jeanette. She purchased three of these It Cosmetics lip treatment serums. So the total was $38.97 for all three. And those did come from a beauty tray um, that I did win at the auction. I sold a pair of Wrangler cowgirl jeans for $25.99. I'm trying to think of where I picked these up. These came from an auction, actually. I remember I went to the auction one day, and there were these stacks upon stacks of jeans um, at the auction, and they were all, like, the girl who wore them, like, rode horses, like, all the time. She was definitely a cowgirl, and she was very tall, <laughs> so very specific, like, tall cowgirl jeans, and I did win some lots of those jeans, and I still have more that I need to list. Um, let's see. I sold another It Cosmetics beauty item. This one was of the lip treatment balm. And that sold for $15.99. But again, it came from one of the same trays I had won at the auction. I sold a lot of 21 vintage Sweet Valley High books. Um, these sold for $39.99, and I'm pretty sure I purchased these at a yard sale. Um, I think it was like an indoor yard sale, now that I mention it. Um, I haven't been there in a really long time. It was quite a hike <laughs> from where I live, um, but yeah, I remember I like filled a bag of stuff, and it was like maybe $20 or so I paid and I got like a bunch of different stuff but those came from like an indoor yard sale so um like the vintage chapter books especially like the young adult uh, books like Sweet Valley High, Babysitter's Club, um the horror genres of like Arl Stein, Fear Street, Christopher Pike, stuff like that um lots of those types of books can sell pretty decently if you're getting them for cheap like a quarter a book or so um, I also sold a Lancome Tresor perfume set for $99.99. This came from the same auction where it was like a bunch of beauty stuff that day. I also sold a set of two nail polish sets. Um, one was like a, a foil set and the other um, I think was more like it gave your nails like a textured kind of look. Um, those sold for $18.99 for the pair, and those probably both came from yard sales, and I just lotted those together. Next was a vintage crop top that had Daffy Duck on it that sold for $25. Um, I did pick that up at a yard sale. Our next item to go to a subscriber named Joy. This was for a vintage plush stuffed cheeseburger. This is the cutest thing. It was like an anthropomorphic looking cheeseburger. I did win that at an auction and that sold for $12.99. Sometimes I just cannot say no to stuff with eyeballs. Um, I also sold, oh, okay, so here we go. This was the first Joe Peters blown glass piece that Eric and I had won at the auction. This was for the Art Glass Beehive Vase. This thing was so amazing. Um, if you had never seen like the videos where I hauled this or anything like that, this vase was actually on the cover of an Art Glass magazine. Just insane. I still can't believe this thing even like passed through my hands basically. Um, it sold for $2,000. So just, oh my god, amazing. And Eric and I actually have another Joe Peters art glass piece. It's not as large as this vase, but it is so beautiful. It is listed. It hasn't sold yet, but it's one of those things. It was the same way with the beehive vase. Um, it was one of those things that, like, I don't mind sitting on. I mean, I know there's money tied up in it, and I know it's worth a lot of money, but at the same time, I don't mind looking at it while it's in my possession kind of thing. Um, so... You know, it will probably eventually go, but just waiting for that right person. Um, so next item was a Five Nights at Freddy's plushie that sold for $59.99, and it came from a tray of Five Nights at Freddy's plushies that Eric and I won at an auction. 
I also sold a Mustang Ranch mug for $25.99 and Eric got like a box of these um, at an auction and I do think we sold every single one. I'm not sure if there's any more left. Um, I also sold a Martha Stewart ceramic jack-o'-lantern that sold for $45.99 and that actually came from Marshalls. Eric and I did, um, one day we went to Marshalls to do a little retail arbitrage. Um, I don't typically do that. I don't typically source at retail stores because I do feel like, um, you know, one, you really have to like try and find those certain things that, you know, are, are, are going to sell. And it's a little, it's a, t it's a time consuming process for one. Um, and two, I just feel since it's so kind of readily available for a lot of people to like go to their own local marshals and potentially find, you know what I mean? Um, but this did come from Marshall's. This was a retail arbitrage item. Um, but that day we picked up a couple of things and this was the only thing that has sold so far. So me personally, I don't enjoy doing it. Um, but I know there's a lot of people out there who do enjoy doing it and do have a lot more success than I would have at doing retail arbitrage. Um, next we have a Hershey Bears signed, um, ice hockey puck that sold for $19 and 99 cents. I picked that up at Goodwill. I couldn't figure out who the players were that um, the autographs were of. I did join like a Facebook group that was specifically for autographs, um, for people to identify autographs and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like when I posted there, um, other people couldn't really figure it out either. So I just listed it, you know, as the autograph hockey puck and it sold regardless. So that, that was nice. Cause I was kind of like, I wasn't sure about picking that up, but it did so. Um, next two items did go to the same person. Um, they purchased two of our Norman Brum enamel and copper birds. So these were from the first folk art auction that Eric and I went to. So the first one, oh, these were the plates. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so the first plate was of a deer that sold for $119.99. And the other one was um, a flower of Black Eyed Susans. And that one sold for $99.99. I also sold a Bath and Body Works Imagine Love Perfume for $99.99. That did come from a yard sale. And I'm pretty sure I paid 50 cents for it. Um, I also sold a old RS Prussia hat pin holder for $24.99 that more than likely came from an auction. Next was a Monster High Sarah Screams doll that sold for $29.99 and that came from a tote of Monster High dolls that I had purchased at a yard sale, which I am still listing those. <laughs> I just listed two of them yesterday. Uh, I still have so many more. Um, I sold a large witch holding a jack-o'-lantern. This was like a shelf sitter. Um, that sold for $35.99 and that came from a yard sale. Um, I sold two Willie Ray figures. The first one, these were both like Thanksgiving fall type themed. Um, the first one was called The Harvest. And that sold for Sharing the Harvest, I should say. It was called Sharing the Harvest. That sold for $50. Then the other one was called Harvest Time. And that one also sold for $50. And these both came from an auction. I sold a black cow uh, figure. This was by someone named Teresa Kogut. That sold for $14.99. And I think that came from a yard sale. I also sold a Viking glass black swung vase for $36. I really liked this one because it was black. So it's like perfect for like Halloween in my opinion. Um, and that probably came from um, either a yard sale or an auction. I also sold a men's shirt by a company called 191 that sold for a whopping $5. Um, I'm pretty sure that came from a fill-a-bag rummage sale at some point. Um, 
me and clothes, I've, I always say I have a love-hate relationship <laughs> with clothing. Um, next, I have another beauty item. This was for an IT Cosmetics Tight Line Eyeliner. This sold for $17.99, and that did come from a beauty tray that I won at the auction. I sold a dark green Starbucks tumbler for $25.99, and that came from a yard sale. Uh, next item also came from a yard sale. This was someone's actual bug collection. They had it in this really nice case all like pinned on. I mean there was just various types of bugs, butterflies, moths, flies, bees, you name it. It was in their bug collection but it was done really well. Um, I think I paid maybe $4 for that and it sold for $49.99. I also sold a, this was by a company called Blossom Bucket. It was a little ornament that said, Mind Your Mummy, and it had a little mummy on it, so like a Halloween ornament. Sold for $9.99, and I paid a dollar. Next was a pair of Sorel Men's Chukka Boots. Those sold for $54.99, and Eric and I got those at a flea market, and I think we paid um, $10 for them. The next two items did go to a subscriber named Sandra. She purchased a troll um, elf doll that sold for $19.99 and I got that at a church sale. And then she also purchased an art deco vase for $12.99 and that one um, just came from a regular yard sale. Um, sold a there's like a big old truck outside. I think we have some new neighbors moving in or moving out for that matter. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, sold a pipe flaring tool for $54.99. Eric picked this up probably either at an auction or a yard sale. I don't really know much, a whole lot about tools, uh, but it sold for $54.99. Um, next item came from an auction. This was for a Lee Max. It was called the Circus Beanbag Toss. So it was like a little figure that goes with like a Lee Max, probably like carnival or circus, um, little village set. That sold for $89.99. That one was a desirable one. And I remember at the auction that day, there was a lot of Lee Max. There was some Spooky Town, which obviously the Spooky Town is worth money. But I feel like some of these other figures, people weren't really taking the time to look up um, and this one was actually a really good one and I got it at a good price as well because no one took the time to look it up. Um, I also sold an Oral B. This was like called a Hummingbird Flosser. This was brand new obviously still sealed. It sold for $75.99 so this is something that was like a discontinued kind of product that people you know obviously still really like. Um, and that came on a tray of some stuff that I won at an auction. So that was pretty awesome. Again, something no one really took the time to <laughs> look up. Um, I sold another Norman Brum. Um, this one was actually a bird, a uh, copper enamel bird on the piece of burl wood. That sold for $75.99 and that came from the first folk art auction Eric and I went to. Sold another Willie Ray Studio. Um, piece. This one was called Thanksgiving to Go. That sold for $49.99 um, and that came from the same auction we purchased the other Willie Ray pieces at. Um, I also have a Monet enamel lipstick case that sold for $25.99. Again came from an auction where Eric and I won a bunch of Monet um, trinket boxes and pieces like that. I also sold a Vidal Sassoon curling iron. This was brand new in the packaging for $19.99. And that just, again, came on a tray of some beauty stuff that I won at an auction. It wasn't something I was really trying to win on that tray, but it's like if I'm winning a tray or a box lot of stuff, I go through it and I will still list some of the other stuff if it's worth listing. Um, and then the last thing that I have is an art glass um, blown red rose flowers. This was for a set of four of them and those sold for $62 and we did win those at an auction. So that is pretty much everything for this chiching. Um, as far as eBay goes, uh, I know in like my last chiching I was talking about how like 
um, I was getting a lot of issues, like back-to-back -back issues. I feel like that kind of tapered off. Haven't really been having any kind of major issues lately. I will say in my last cha-ching, I mentioned that my cha-ching sound wasn't working properly and it still isn't. I'm still, like when something actually sells and is paid for, like a buy it now, I get a cha-ching. But when someone bids on something, I get the like notification sound like you get when you receive a message or something along those lines. So that still isn't working properly for me. Um, I've tried uninstalling and reinstalling my eBay app multiple times. I haven't tried lately, so maybe I should give it one more chance. But um, as of even today, it's still giving me the notification sound instead of a chiching sound when someone bids on something. So I wish that they would fix that because it is so obnoxious. I can't stand it. I know I think some of you guys were having the same problem as well. So it's obviously a known problem to them. So I'm not sure why they aren't fixing it in a more timely manner. Um, but other than that, I feel like, you know, Everything is still going pretty smoothly. Just today, I sold that Fenton Epernay that I showed in my last haul video. So that's awesome. I love when things sell quickly um, and for really good profit. So I'm excited that that is leaving the house today. Um, and let's see, Eric and I, we did go to a church sale last week. Um, it was not very good. I did record there, but I'm the type of person, like, when I'm recording footage videos, if I'm not seeing anything interesting and fun and exciting and I'm not picking stuff up, I feel like it's so boring. So it's like, I don't want to just put out a, a footage video content of me just, you know filming stuff and it's not even anything interesting <laughs> that I'm filming. Like if I feel like if I'm finding it boring, everyone else is going to find it boring and no one's really going to be interested in watching it. So how do you guys feel about that? Like would you feel the same way or would you still want to see the stuff even though it's not anything good <laughs> kind of thing? Um, let me know down in the comments because I get like um, discouraged and then I just won't like upload the footage because I just I feel like it's too boring and I don't want to bore you guys with boring footage. So anyway, we went to that church sale and all we got were like um, I think four things total essentially and that was Eric's doing. He's the one that picked this stuff up. You'll see it in a haul video. Um, and there is another church sale, I do believe, coming up soon. So, um, you know, church sales and yard sales and stuff like that will be coming back soon. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and I will start having more, like, follow me around footage type videos like how I was doing last year at yard sales and stuff like that. So they will be coming back and I'm super excited about that um, just to have yard sale season come back around because, you know, over the winter I typically just source at auctions which are nice, but you know, you're paying auction prices. So I'm not going to the auction and paying a quarter or 50 cents for the stuff that I'm buying like I would at say a yard sale. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this ching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.